right at the top end of Alder Canyon, just before you hit the stairs uh, leading up to the Turtle Pond, um, you'll find a Fremont Cottonwood, sometimes called Western Cottonwood as well. Uh, the Fremont Cottonwood is an, another tree that uh, you really find in riparian habitats. Um, it wants to be uh, close to water, so you usually find it around stream banks, uh, seasonal creeks, things like that. Um, in this is instance, uh, we're in one of the natural drainage ways here at the gardens, and it is uh, just about smack dab in the middle. This has uh, subsurface moisture all year long. Um, these, as a moisture-loving tree, a large moisture-loving tree, very fast-growing tree, uh, it has extremely aggressive roots. It's not something that you want to plant anywhere near a water line or a sewer line. It will seek out those pipes and, uh, and destroy them. Um, but it is a beautiful tree, perhaps not appropriate for all but the largest yards, uh, but in a park-like setting, an institutional setting, great tree provides a, a fantastic amount of shade. And this is one of the California natives that does get very nice fall color. Uh, we're in uh, late autumn uh, right now, and uh, the leaves are just starting to turn a beautiful golden yellow color. Um, the leaves uh, in themselves are very pretty. They're, they're sort of heart-shaped, uh, slightly serrated around the edges, and uh, as I mentioned, they do turn a really nice, uh, uh, almost a lemon yellow color in the fall. Um, during the summer, uh, the leaves are on long petioles, and as the wind is going uh, through the leaves, it almost makes it look like the, uh, the entire tree is shimmering. Um, a large tree, perhaps not suitable for your home garden, but wonderful to come and visit and sit under.